at the Lakers starting lineup. They come in at 43 and 23. Carl Malone making his third start since returning from that knee injury up front with Rick Fox. Shaquille O'Neal talking about returns again and again. Kobe Bryant and Gary Payton in the backcourt. The head coach is Phil Jackson. He's assisted by Jim Clemens, Frank Hamlin, Kirk Rambis, Tex Winter, and the trainer is Gary Vitti. The Magic come in, losers of five out of their last seven, including most recently Saturday by 14 up at Seattle. Jawan Howard up front, Deshaun Stevenson. They acquired him at the deadline from Utah. Andrew DeClerc in the middle, Tracy McGrady, and former Laker, very popular player here in Los Angeles. Good to see him again, Tyron Lue. And Johnny Davis, the head coach, currently at 18 and 39, Stu. Well, this team has uh, obviously been having his problems all season long, and the Lakers finally getting at home after this long road trip where they have been pretty good against the East. Uh, no Eastern teams have beat them here at Staples. Well, the Magic, <laughs> when they go out on the road, they haven't beaten any Western Conference team. They've beaten very few Eastern Conference teams. The Magic in their road, black pinstripe uniforms, and Shaquille O'Neal and the Lakers control the tip. They'll have it to start the fourth quarter as well. Deshaun Stevenson, he matches up against Kobe. Kobe's still wearing that compression jersey. Get used to it. Probably going to see it the rest of the season. Payton working down on Tyron. Lou wants to take him into the low post. All the way jump shot. And Gary Payton opens the books on this one for the Lakers. Well, if Lou doesn't force the issue offensively and really have a good night, they're going to have to go big in the backcourt because uh, Gary Payton's too big for Ty Lou. Tracy McGrady, he misses that. Rick Fox initially matched up against the six foot eight long armed McGrady. Kobe running the floor. Declare back and creates almost a turnover. Deshaun Stevenson on the sideline. You see Kobe just now. After the clerk made the tap to tip it to lose, he noticed he noticed that Stevenson was going after it. He started backing away from uh, Stevenson so that he couldn't throw it off his body. Just an alert play by an alert player. All the little things that make him so incredibly fundamentally sound. Kobe comes in to get it. The eighth leading scorer in the NBA, 22 and a half points per game. Peyton working down in the low post wants to go against Lou again. Peyton 6'4. Lou at about six feet tall. And that foul is going to be on the Orlando Magic. Maybe on no, they give that to Ty Lou. Yeah, I mean again, the Lakers are doing the right thing. Uh, you know, you want to hit the, the chain at its weakest link, and you look at where the biggest advantage is for the Lakers, and aside from Shaquille and Kobe and, and Carl, <laughs> obviously <laughs> the big advantage yet. Oh, nice pass. Guard. Excuse me, Stu. What a pass from Carl Malone to Rick Fox. Now you're going to get used to saying that because that's all we've been saying about the mailman since he joined the Lakers. He just is a very, very underrated pass. Recapped his two games since returning from that right knee ligament tear. McGrady pulls up. He's hit on the arm, and it'll be a couple of free throws. He's been spending his life at the free throw line over the last four or five games. The ability to move without the ball is good, and Rick Fox just cutting without it. Carl anticipates where he's going to be and throws it ahead because when that pass was released, Rick was still tangled up with Andrew DeClerc, but got himself freed up, got an easy hoop. That's, that's just beautiful team basketball. McGrady misses the first free throw off the side of the iron. Again, the NBA's leading score could become just the ninth player in NBA history to lead the league in scoring in consecutive seasons after doing so last year when he scored at a 32.1 point per game clip. Second free throw also missed by McGrady, but Andrew DeClerc takes the rebound. That thing hit the back of the rim, and I mean carom back almost to, to McGrady. McGrady averages almost eight free throw attempts on the year. Why not? He's got the ball in his hands all the time. Deshaun Stevenson, pull up jump shot. Nope. Carl Malone with a rebound. Had 13 rebounds in the victory over the Chicago Bulls on Saturday. The impressive thing about Carl's game on Saturday was the fact that he played 38 minutes and just about uh, got that triple double that we talked about as Ty Lue picks up his second foul and he's going to have to go straight to the uh, the pine and hasn't been out there but a minute and a half Gary Payton with the nice cut and they either had to call him running out of bounds or called the foul they decided to call the foul. Johnny Davis comes with Keith Bogans, a rookie out of Kentucky, the 23rd, excuse me, second round pick. Malone with it on the perimeter, pounding it down into Kobe. This time in the low post, turn, swings through, tries to cash a check off the banker and doesn't make that one, and McGrady takes the rebound. At least now the uh, Magic are big in the backcourt defensively. McGrady line drive, pull up, jump shot, nice screen by Andrew DeClerc, steady diet of that down in Orlando. 
Well, the Lakers get a steady diet of that against every team in the league. They want to try to get Shaquille away from the basket defensively. Juwan Howard trying to do something with Carl Malone. What he did with him, Stu, was foul him. So Malone's going to go to the free throw line to shoot a pair. Well, Carl puts you in a bad way there because if you body him up like uh, Juwan Howard did on that play, he's going to work himself to the free throw line. Nobody has attempted more free throws than the mailman. And then if you sag off a little bit, he just turns and shoots on you. So uh, really a tough assignment for Juwan Howard. Well, we have a moment. And Carl Malone is at the line. Want to send our very best wishes to Carl's daughter, Katie, who uh, broke her right ankle in a softball mishap last Friday. Well, the team was in Boston, and Carl knew she'd be watching and wanted us to send her our, all our best wishes and hope for a very speedy recovery. So hope you get well, Katie. Get back out there on the dime. Well, Carl goes to the line and misses two. Four to two, just underway here, back at Staples Center. There's the high screen. Shaq comes out to show. McGrady snap pass inside to Andrew DeClerc right at the rim. Uh, again, the weak side defense has got to react quicker than that. When you see the high screen and roll, you know they're either going to pick and pop or pick and roll. So you've got to anticipate where the ball is going to go. Payton back and down. Defensively, Bogan's a lot more presence at six foot five. Malone, fall away, jump shot, nope. McGrady takes another rebound. Nice pass to DeClerc, doesn't handle it well. That was a pretty good look. DeClerc needs to make that play. Tough pass for Andrew. I mean, it didn't have any air under it. It was like a line drive. Did hit him in his hand, but he was uh, running in the opposite direction. Nice cut by Gary Payton. Seeing the hole down the lane, Bogans turned his head. Rick Fox with the assist. Right off the top, uh, Gary Payton, very aggressive offensively, but the only way you can do that is if your teammates are looking for you as they are tonight. Juan Howard turn, fall away, jump shot. The whistle blows, and Carl Malone tried to strip Howard, but got him across the arm. Rick Fox showing his passing ability, just pass and cut. The defender never sees the basketball. You must keep sight of the basketball. If you lose sight of your man, you still have to have sight of the ball. First personal foul on Malone, second team foul on the Lakers. This is Juwan Howard going to the free throw line now in his 10th season, first in Orlando after playing very well for a very bad team in Denver last year. That free throw missed off the front of the iron. So McGrady misses a couple, and now as does Juwan Howard. It's only a two-point game with uh, about three and a half or 315 already elapsed. So the Lakers haven't done anything to discourage this magic team, and especially from the offensive rebounding department as two free throws missed, and Andrew DeClerc out hustles the Lakers for the putback. Stu, so far, six free throws have been shot in this basketball game. Both of these teams have yet to make one. 0 for 6 for both teams. Malone cuts through the lane. The Lakers and Magic tied at 6. Shaq turnaround jump shot. Nice shot by Shaquille. Uh, just turned that one dribble for rhythm and elevates. Knocks down the short jump. Shaq's first basket of the night. He averages 21 and a half points per game. Almost 11 rebounds. Howard backs down. Malone stays right on him. Good defense by the Lakers, but they can't close the deal. Deshaun Stevenson takes the offensive rebound. High Archer, no, and Andrew DeClerc off to a very good start. Tracy McGrady looking at about a 28-footer. Must be nice to have that light. Wow. I mean, there is such a thing. As he, there's a green light, and then there's the light that Tracy has. That shot was from deep. We'll give you another look at that if we can. Malone with it on the wing. The Lakers trailing 9-8. Malone step back, jump shot, and his first make at Staples Center since December 21st. With the Lakers change up their little strategy on uh, Tracy McGrady, the, the space that he was allowed on that last shot, they might have to play him on the inline. DeClerc comes down the middle, tried to get that shot up at the rim. I think they'll call that on the pass off. As yeah, it was definitely on the pass as Gary Payton is the guy that tried the strip. And you talked about the jump shot from Tracy McGrady. Offensive rebound, and Tracy just elevates up and bottoms out. That is wet. That was very wet. Three team fouls now on the Lakers and the Magic. McGrady pulls up once again, comes up empty. Payton takes the rebound. I'm glad somebody on it with a gold uniform took the rebound. Gary Payton still on the dribble, comes to a jump stop. Rick Fox, stutter step, gets down the lane, throws in a difficult little running hook shot. 
Uh, one of the few times you see Rick take the hook shot without utilizing the backboard, but he did an excellent job of keeping it away from the defender. Rick Fox, who's still waiting for his jump shot to come back from a hiatus, if you will, getting a couple of nice early looks early around the basket as Shaq picks up the foul. A good uh, screen by Shaquille for Rick Fox on that previous play, and the defense comes over, but Rick with the running hook scores, and then Shaq stepping out to help Rick Fox defensively reached in, picked up his first personal foul. Lakers now out of fouls and a lot of basketball to be played as Tracy McGrady showing he's got a very strong offhand as well. He's just in a talented, talented offensive player. I mean, he will put up points. The problem is it doesn't always translate to victories. And that's the bottom line. Talking to Tyron Lustu, the former Laker, who won two rings here in Los Angeles, and I said, your, your personnel doesn't seem to be for the Eastern Conference that week. Foul inside, Shaq can't convert the play. And Tyron looked at me and he said, we, Paul, we just have not been able to put it together. That start just killed us, and we've never gotten out of it. Well, when you lose, uh, what they start out 1-19, and 19, yeah, that'll get you out of it in a way. As uh, Shaq and Rick Fox now going pick and roll, and Shaq almost with a three-point opportunity. We'll go to the line for the first time in the ball game. That foul was on Andrew DeClerc and that free throw rims in and out and still a free throw has not been converted in this game. The Lakers are now 0 for 3. The Magic 0 for 4. The big fellow will make this one. He'll break that streak. And that free throw right through the bottom. And the Lakers lead it 13 to 11. Tracy McGrady so far as advertised. Seven points, three out of five shooting. Takes more field goal attempts than any player in the NBA, just about 24 per game. McGrady still on the dribble, looking for somewhere to go, comes back to the ball. Another screen, Fox bounces off of that. Pull up, jump shot, good again by McGrady, he's got 10. Rick is going to be involved in the pinball machine tonight. Normally it's the guard, uh, whether it's Fisher or Gary Payton, but tonight it's going to be Rick Fox. Rick Fox, the, oh, nice pass to Malone, goes down the lane, misses the layup, draws the contact. Second personal foul on DeClerc, two more free throws coming to Malone. Came out of that limping a little bit, Stu. Yeah, he is limping. I don't know whether it's, I think it's the left leg, so. The mailman knocked down a jumper a little bit earlier, and now he'll be going to the free throw line yet again to see if he can knock down a couple of free throws on Fox Sports Net. Carl Malone, the first of two free throws up and good. So after missing their first three, the Lakers with Shaq and Malone. Could he make two in a row? He misses off the back iron. So the poor free throw shooting continues. Poor for the Lakers, dreadful for Orlando, 0 for 4 on the night. Tied at 14. One of the ways to get the team to play better defense, I think, would be to, uh, from the Orlando Magic standpoint, let them touch the ball offensively a bit more. He's facing this, uh, a one-man show off. Bogans, 18-footer straight away. Sean Rooks, the former Laker who started the season with the New Orleans Hornets and was traded for some draft picks in cash. But he really likes playing with this group. Fits in pretty well. He can certainly play pick and pop. Shaq rolling through the lane. Fox has got it. Brooks four years as a Laker. Shaq the running one-hander. No nice rebound by Bogans down in the lane. The Lakers trailing the Magic 16-14. Well, the defense of the Magic so far hasn't been as poor as they've talked about as they lead the Lakers by up here. Deshaun Stevenson, nice pass inside. Bogans has got back-to-back -back hoops. Back-to-back -back hoops puts the Magic up by four. And, uh, you know, as expected, the Lakers playing to the level of their opposition. The Lakers are shooting it well, 67%, but Orlando at 62. Oh, what a look by Malone. Bobbled a little bit. Peyton steps inside. Finger roll. No, we'll call that a pass. To that was some move, though, by GP. <laughs> Did a good job with up and under on Sean Wilkes, and then the scoop shot missed everything, but there's Shaquille to clean it up. McGrady already in double figures with 10. They want to have an inside presence. Their best chance is Jordan Howard takes it to the basket down inside. And Carl Malone just picked up his second personal foul. And Carl tried to strip him again as he was going up. Uh, did knock the ball free, but the official said you hit him on the arm in the process. So two fouls on Malone will get him to the bench as Slava has checked into the lineup for the mailman. A technical foul has been called against the mailman. Complaining a, a little too loudly.
to the official about that call as he picks up his second personal and goes to the sideline. McGrady good on the technical foul and as you've been listening that uh, is the first free throw conversion for the Orlando Magic and Malone going to the sideline Medvedenko back in and the Lakers are all of a sudden very thin at the power forward position it was announced today by the Lakers that Horace Grant has a continuing problem with his right hip after getting an MRI and will be out of the lineup for some time Stu Phil Jackson said it could be until the playoffs I talked to Horace he said there's no way it's going to be that long but rookie Brian Cook is on the injured list until Sunday they shouldn't need rookie Brian Cook and, until Sunday. I mean, they've got enough uh, with this home game to take care of him. What a pass by Kobe. Shaq misses the first one, but doesn't miss the second one. So there is an example of no matter how good a pass is, you don't get anything unless the other player converts it. But Kobe's pass was really nice. Shaq better go back and get that one. That was a perfect delivery by Kobe. The Lakers trail at 22-18. McGrady on the perimeter. Here comes a screen by Howard. 19 foot pull up jump shot. No. And the Lakers continue to have problems on their defensive board as Sean Rooks and Slava Medvedenko get tangled up. There's going to be a loose ball foul on Slava before the tie up as Sean Rooks tried to go up for the rebound. They kept Slava uh, for the bump. So Rooks just into the ball game. Go to the line. See if he can add to a four point Orlando lead. Sean Rooks uh, appearing in his 12th game for the Magic, averaging about four points per game. Made 15 of 16 free throws since he's donned the Magic uniform. Always a very, very good mid-range jump shooter. You know, I talked about not getting us credit for the pass. Uh, if we get a chance, I want to show everybody how good of a pass Kobe threw to Shaquille that he comes away with nothing on he being Kobe. Sean Rooks good on both free throws. Let's take another look at that good delivery. Well, that was pretty. I mean, that was really, he brought two, three defenders to him, and Shaq gets an, uh, an offensive rebound and then a score. Lakers trailing it by six. Shaq rolling down the lane. He's hammered hard by Sean Rooks. Another nice pass by number eight, Kobe Bryant. That one, Shaquille gobbled up and uh, now earns himself another trip to the free throw line. Just great play. Two defenders. That means somebody's got to be free, and Kobe finds him. Sean Rooks finds the left arm of Shaquille O'Neal. First personal foul on Sean Rooks, a second-round draft pick out of Arizona, originally played for Dallas. And so now both teams out of foul. Shaq good again on the free throw. You can tell by his delivery tonight, uh, he's got a nice rhythm on his shot free throw-wise. So when he's shooting it like that, go to him more and more, because he gets even more and more aggressive on the offensive end. Talk about aggressive. Slava Medvedenko is doing a much better job on the offensive board. What's the reason for that, Stu? I just think he's learning a little bit better about moving his feet and not waiting for the ball to come to him, where, especially on free throws, the guy with the inside position gets lazy a lot of the times. If you move, you're going to get some off opportunities. Kobe guarded by Stevenson. Comes around the screen for Medvedenko. Kobe wants to back him down. Takes him down in the lane. Turn around. Left-handed jump shot. No. Medvedenko with the offensive rebound. But Shaq kept it alive. Kobe floats down the lane. What a pass to Shaquille. Nice look again by number eight. But it, uh, he deserved that when he being Shaquille because he's the one that kept the ball alive and got rewarded with a deuce. Stu, what am I missing here? I'm looking at this, this stats monitor, and they got Kobe with one assist. <laughs> uh, two in a row there, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, I know. Pull-up jump shot in the corner by Juwan Howard. 2.45 remaining in the first. The Lakers trailing the Magic, 26-21. Fox with it. Good cut by Peyton. And boy, Philip McDonald talked about their lack of defense. It's a layup drill right now for the Lakers. Well, it seems like they, uh, they're prepared for Shaquille in the help situation, but just pass, simple pass and cuts they're not responding to. Juwan Howard left all alone from 18 feet. Hadn't been much defense played on either end of the I floor just, so far. I just get ready to say the same thing. That, you know, we've been talking about how porous the uh, Magic defense is. The Lakers defense is not going to win any prizes. Medvedenko comes to meet that pass. Looking for Peyton on the back door cut. Bodied up by Howard. Medvedenko head to shoulder fake. Difficult fall away jump shot. No. Bogans with a rebound. When you're falling away like that, you're almost better served at that angle to use the glass. I know Slava doesn't use the glass that much, but you got to try. 
Jawan Howard floating down inside, and Jawan Howard having a very nice first quarter. He's got nine. Tracy McGrady's got ten. I feel Jackson has seen enough, uh, even though it's about ten and a half minutes into the quarter. He says, look, guys, let's talk something over here. Allowing the Orlando Magic to shoot 67% is ridiculous, and being down by seven is even worse on Fox Sports Net. Sixty two points wins there most by a player since the ninety three ninety four season as the Lakers come out of the timeout and T.O. turn it over. Derek Fisher comes on for the first time along with Devin George. So Medvedenko Shaq and Gary Payton remain on the floor. Devin George has got the kind of length and quickness to bother Tracy McGrady as Sean Rooks misses off the iron McGrady right over the top throws up an air ball. Tracy checking the wind. <laughs> he said, Wait did. a minute here. What happened? <laughs> I was there a minute ago and the wind wasn't blowing in that direction, but I guess it's picked up quite a bit. But look for him to make the adjustment. One air ball will not deter him on the offensive end. Drew Gooden out of Kansas also comes on for the first time in his second season. High draft pick in Memphis last year and then came at the. Oh, oh what a pass! No, they're they're going to wipe it off. Gary Payton's going to plead his case. If any part of the ball is over the cylinder, obviously you cannot touch it. And they're ruling that Gary's pass was over the cylinder when Shaquille put his hand on it. And uh, so that wipes off the uh, the basket. It was a bad call oh, because yeah. the ball was completely out of the cylinder. And uh, Shaq just take, took it home. And that's just one that the officials blew. Derek Fisher in the passing lane, bump from behind. They let that go, and Fisher lays it up and in. I'm glad they let that go. I mean, if he falls and loses his balance, call the foul. Don't take that basket away from Fish. Deshaun Stevenson throws one down at the other end. Where is the Lakers' defense? Still on the road. And they wasn't there either, was it? Not much. Still Not in much. The, um, in mothballs. 32-25, the Lakers trail. This team only averages about 94, 95 points. So, giving up 30 plus in the first 12 minutes, not uh, a good sign of your defense. Devin George pull up jump shot. That's his first basket in five games. Went 0 for 13 on the road trip in over 50 minutes of play. I mean, it's so much in Devin's head that uh, I mean, I really think they ought to just let him alone now. Don't even talk about it. Just let him go out, let him relax and play. Don't even bring up. His offensive, uh, the offensive end of the court. Eight seconds remaining in the period. Shot clock a couple of ticks ahead. The Grady stutter step. Lakers are out of fouls. Into the corner to Gooden, and he buries one. A long two pointer. Three seconds remaining. Peyton's going to get a look at it. On the run, one foot counts if it goes off the back of the iron, and the first period comes to an end. Uh, the Lakers give up 34 points to the Orlando Magic. They're going to have to get it together in the final. Three quarters, or we could be in for a long night on Fox Sports Net. <laughs> shoot 60 percent. They shoot 60 percent <laughs> and out <laughs> and are down by seven. That's funny. That is so pathetic. It's funny. First team to get two stops in a row may win. Well, they'll call timeout and award a game ball for the defensive player of the game. Tracy McGrady turns and makes his first jump shot of the second period. He now has 13. And he's a long 6'8". I oh, mean, yeah. it's, it even looks like at times he's taller than 6'8". Kareem Rush, a little bit out of control. Malone back on, picked up two early personal fouls. Just had three points in the opening nine minutes as Shaq goes to the sideline. Joined over there by Kobe Bryant, Gary Payton, and Rick Fox. No, Shaq and Kobe. Kobe on the bench with uh, only one assist they credit him with and still looking for his first scratch. Hasn't scored a point. Only, uh, he's only attempted two shots. George out there with Rush. Derek Fisher who had a basket and a steal in that opening period. Malone wants it to go to work on DeClaire. Malone looking outside. Fisher thought about it. You better think by... about it again. Yeah, better <laughs> think quick. Pull up jump shot. No good rebound taken in the lane by Keith Bogans, who's played well since coming on. Tyron Lue with it left side, looking for who else. Then the side is cleared for McGrady. Swing, pull up, jump shot, good again. In the last two games, he scored 102 points. He's looking like he might get 102 in this one alone. 
Lakers. Lakers trail it 38-27. Malone with it, backdoor cut by Kareem. Rush uses the backboard, it rattles in and out. Rebound taken by Gooden. Here comes McGrady. McGrady turns on the Jets, gets down the lane, loses control because he was hit on the arm, and it'll be two free throws coming to McGrady. Two free throws coming, trying to run his point total to 17 as he goes to his left, and Devin George uh, reaching in. Coming for some help is Kareem Rush. Hits him right in the face, then down the face, onto the arm. Tracy says, I'm all right, though, because I'm on fire from the field. I'm not going to get hurt tonight. I feel like another 40 to 50 point game. Last Wednesday versus Washington when he went for 62 as Tracy makes the free throws. 20 of 37 from the floor. 5 of 14 from three-point range. Got to the free throw line 26 times. Made 17. And then back that up, albeit in a losing effort, on Saturday with 40 at Seattle. Medvedenko out hustles to Clerk and Gooden. Also fortunate roll. Kick ahead to Malone. Ahead of the pack. Lays it up and in. Nice pass by Derek Fisher. You have to reward your bigs when they run the floor like that. If you don't, they will not run as hard, and your transition game will be null and void. McGrady back to the basket. Turns, faces once again, and he is bumped by Devin George. There's a good example of when he caught the ball, he had his back to the basket. Devin is crowding. As soon as he pivots and faces up without committing his dribble, offensively, I mean defensively, you have to give him a little bit of space or else any contact is going to go on the defender. Looking inside the focus, guarded by Rush is good, but it has another thought to go to McGrady. Offensive rebound held by DeClerc momentarily, deflected out of bounds. Good hustle by Carl Malone. The Lakers will have it. Lakers need to string together some defensive plays that will get them in their early offense. Medvedenko thought about it. Goes to Malone. Nice pass to Fisher cross court. Fisher back and down on Lou. Returns the favor out to Devin George who hit his first shot. Turns on the Jets. Gets down the lane. Throws up a wild shot. Medvedenko there with the offensive rebound again. Well, sometimes, uh, you know, if they're not running the, your number, your play, you have to get it the old-fashioned way as Devin George just picked up a technical foul and uh, so Tracy McGrady will be going to the free throw line to shoot that one but I talked about getting it the old-fashioned way go get it off the glass as uh, Devin not happy about a no call and let his feelings be known and the official let his feelings be known and for uh, some reason the official seems to have the last <laughs> say I can't I haven't figured out why they get the final word some about the rule book you know Stu uh, the Second technical foul called against the Lakers. Uh, Carl Malone had one as he left the floor at nine minutes in after picking up his second personal foul. And Devin George says, look, you're going to call me for a foul every time I touch Tracy McGrady. And yeah, that's right. You're not going to get the same treatment at the other end. McGrady goes to the sideline. Good with it now on the perimeter. Ten on the shot clock. Ball comes loose. Medvedenko a little overly active at the defensive end. Picks up his second personal. Now you'll see them going to Drew Gooden quite a bit as the, their primary offensive weapon. And with uh, Tracy McGrady on the, uh, on the bench, normally it's Juwan Howard. Uh, I shouldn't say normally, a lot of the times it's Juwan Howard as Luke Walton checking in for Slav Medvedenko. So Drew Gooden will be going up against Luke Walton. Drew Gooden at 6'10", 240 will try to take advantage of Luke at about 6'7". The Lakers trailed this team by 18 points down in Orlando on February 8th in the first meeting. It took a 31 to 15 fourth quarter for the Lakers to pull out the victory. Nice rebound by Devin George in traffic. Deshaun Stevenson back on was down momentarily. Kareem Rush with it. George looking inside the Malone's got good deep position. That ball deflected away. Luke Walton left wide open from 17 feet. No long rebound comes to Orlando. Lakers trail it by nine. Lou around a nice screen from the third pull-up 17-footer. You know, you see the Lakers get so many uh, diet, so so much of a diet of screen and roll. You think they'd almost be experts at defending it because they see it so much. Well, including tonight's two, they got 16 games to figure it out before the playoffs. Kareem Rush, 19-footer straight away. That's no good. Here comes Orlando once again. Keith Bogans takes the long rebound. Phil Jackson trying to wait till the next dead ball for, so that there'll be an automatic timeout, and then he'll reinsert a couple of his uh, starters as the offensive foul. Good call by the official as Drew Gooden just stiff arms 
Luke Walton, and that is a dead ball situation. So we'll have a timeout, 8.30 to go, and the Lakers are down by 11 on Fox Sports Net. 8.25 remaining in the opening period. If you're just joining us, the Lakers trail 34-27 after one as Orlando shot a 64% clip. Derek Fisher, offensive rebound, but he pushed off to get so much room. Well, hopefully the official will notice that Derek is the tying his shoe and not just give the ball uh, to the opposition. Good, <laughs> good job by the official to pretend like he's wiping some moisture off the ball to allow Fisher time uh, to get back into play, but they do not have to do that. Tyron Lou out there now with Deshaun Stevenson. Juwan Howard has come back. He's guarded by Malone once again. Head fake, nice move. Keeps his pivot foot. No, he didn't. He dragged the pivot foot and turned it over. Well, the Lakers are out of fouls, and uh, there's eight minutes to play in the second quarter. Orlando doesn't have any team foul, so with being up 11, they can be very aggressive on the uh, defensive end if they choose to. And at, at this 11-point lead allows Tracy McGrady to get even more rest. Derek Fisher hard down the lane. He's got another layup. Good hard move by Derek going to well, the high sock look tonight. Now new I, for him. Now I see why they said about Lando's defense. He started out at midcourt, drove right down the center of the floor, and nobody got in his way. Nobody. Drew Gooden comes on for Juwan Howard. He and Luke Walton wrestling down in the low post. Excuse me, Howard is still out there. He came on for DeClaire. Deshaun Stevenson, crossover. Pull up, jump shot, good. That's an area of his game that he has worked on since he came into the league. Uh, he's a very, very erratic shooter in Utah. Devin George loses the handle momentarily because he was fouled by Stevenson. A high schooler out of the Fresno area came straight into the NBA. Spent the last several years with Utah before being traded for Gordon Giracek, who played very well last week in the Lakers' loss at Utah. Uh, 721 to go. Lakers still trail the Orlando Magic by double digits here. 11 points. Devin George trying to cut into that. Well, you said it, Stu, and we mentioned it at the beginning of the game, and I'll reiterate what you said as we were going off the air in Chicago. What the Lakers need as much as anything else is a sense of urgency over these final 16 games, and we haven't seen it yet. No, we haven't seen a sense of urgency. The Lakers, they, and they've got a lot of work to do. I mean, just collectively as a team. They've got a lot of work to do on both ends of the floor if they're going to be in a position to challenge for a championship. Tyron Lou directing traffic comes over to Stevenson who just hit a nice 19 footer being forced baseline with it crossover dribble pull up and he makes two in a row from the same spot. Well that's just a cleared side there. I mean when you're cleared side like that get up make them put it on the floor and go to the basket where you can get some help. Backdoor pass. Nice play by Derek Fisher. Give the assist to Carl Malone. Man, is he making some passes. I tell you, he just continually impresses me with his ability to find cutters. Uh, Derek Fisher just throws it in and cuts. Carl waits on him. Just a little drop pass. Again, Ty Lue doesn't have his head turned to see the ball. I mean, when the head is completely turned like that, you can throw the ball right by their ear or anything. They'll never catch sight of it. Remember the first assist to Rick Fox, as you so well pointed out. It wasn't, Rick wasn't even breaking free yet. Yeah. Carl threw it where he was going to be. Very similar play. Derek Fisher looks to complete the three-point play and does so. So Fish off the bench, a point a minute so far. He's got seven. And Lakers Kobe, trail, excuse me, by nine. Kobe back in, guarding Tracy McGrady, who's back in. And Tracy immediately going to the rim. And Juwan Howard, that one never got above the rim. The ball's loose. Shaq snap pass into the front court. Derek Fisher spin, aggressive offensively, misses that. Howard back to take the rebound. Oh, nice move, but it seemed like the ball was slipping out of Fisher's hands as he was shooting it. Stevenson, who's hit a couple from there, a little heat check, and he is white hot. Deshaun Stevenson now with eight. McGrady's got 17. Jawan Howard has nine. That last basket gets uh, Gary Payton up, up off the bench. Derek Fisher comes around to screen from Kobe. That ball off the leg. Derek Fisher, awkward looking play, changed his mind, and here comes Orlando. Lakers trailing 48 37. McGrady wide open just off the bench and now off the back of the iron. Orlando easily with the offensive rebound. 
way uh, Stevenson has been shooting out. I was going to say, you know the shot's going up. Howard steps through inside Luke Walton, counts the basket and the foul on Luke. Now, which team again was it we said that was so terrible for defense? I'm trying to remember what we said here. As we've got a timeout with 5.45 to go in the half, and the Lakers down 50 to 37 with a free throw coming to the Magic on Fox Sports Net. Eight points on four out of six. Juan Howard completes the three point play. He now has a dozen. He's made five out of seven, Stu. And why not when you're shooting about 65%? Everybody's going along at a pretty good clip. Brian Russell comes on for the first time out there with Malone. Gary Payton back on with Kobe. Shaq stays on. Kobe snap pass outside to Russell. A good three point shooter comes up well short. Nice play by Shakia. Outside to Malone. Head fake gets ripped. Oh, nice. nice pass inside to Brian Russell. Nice. Off the dribble when everyone thinks Carl's going to power it to the rim. He immediately picks it up off the dribble and a bullet pass to Brian Russell. Kobe now being guarding Tracy McGrady. McGrady comes down the lane and lays it up and in. Nice screen freed him up and nobody in the help situation. He gets a layup. Shaq turns inside working on DeClerc. DeClerc almost just let him go. Well, until the Lakers decide to play defense, why worry about picking up fouls? I mean, the Magic are scoring every time down. Shaq's got a dozen. The Lakers trail it by the same number. Stevenson comes around the screen, crossover dribble, tripped inadvertently, lost control of the ball, and that's going to be a foul against Shaquille O'Neal. Shaq picks up his second foul. The Lakers have been out of fouls for about a week, so it'll be free throws coming to Deshaun Stevens as he uh, has his team up by 12 with his production off the bench. Stevenson came up well short on the free throw. Maybe he needs to cross over or put it between his legs. He's he's been pure just, on everything else. Just shoot a jumper, that's yep. all. I mean, he's been knocking down the jumpers. And that standstill shot is obviously giving him a little bit of trouble. Misses them both. The Lakers have beaten the Orlando Magic six straight times here in Los Angeles. Kobe backing down on Stevenson. Gets all the way down inside. Shot blocked by Howard. Here comes Orlando. Bogan's running right side. McGrady on the left. Nice pass to Juan Howard from Tracy McGrady. Transition basketball. The Lakers quickly into the front court. And Andrew DeClerc fouls Kobe. And it'll be two free throws coming to the Lakers. Kobe Bryant. And Kobe looking for his first uh, points of the night. One of the reasons maybe why the Lakers are down, other than their defense, is the direct connect play, the magic in transition, and Howard with the finish. That's good decision. Pass to Tracy, and Tracy immediately gives it up. That's, that's nice basketball. Kobe, his first free throw of the night, needs a bounce. Needed a couple, didn't get it on the year. Brian is an 85% free throw shooter, made 10 of 11 in the most recent victory at Chicago when he had 35. There you get a very good look at the pad on Kobe's right shoulder. That pad there is to diffuse any impact taken right down on top of that joint. Second free throw up and good. The Lakers trail the Orlando Magic with 4.15 remaining in the opening half. 55-42. And four plus minutes left to go in the half. If they just turn up their defense, uh, they can get right back in this thing. A very difficult shot taken by McGrady. He forced that one. Kobe splits the defense, finds Brian Russell. Outside to pay good pass back. Still Russell missed his first, also missed his second. Sean Rooks takes the rebound. Here comes Stevenson. The track beat continues. Bogans inside, and he's fouled by the Lakers' Gary Payton. Two free throws coming to the Magic. Magic doing a good job of limiting the Lakers to one shot now and then getting out in transition and Gary Payton called for the foul so Bogans are going to the is going to the free throw line to see if he can continue to add to this lead of <laughs> Magic they must like playing against the Lakers because they have uh, they played well against the Mag against the Lakers in Orlando that was a 98 96 victory keyed by Derek Fisher's heroics in the fourth period had a steal, a couple of other big jump shots. Both free throws good by Bogans. The Lakers trailed by as many as 18 and 15 going into the fourth quarter. And here they trail it 57 to 42. The Magic Stewart shooting 64% from the floor. That low? I thought it would be like 70. It feels like it. Jack down inside, and he's grabbed immediately by Juwan Howard. 
good play by Juan Howard. I mean, he was Sean Rooks was completely beaten on the play, and so Howard just reaches out and grabs Shaquille, sends him to the free throw line. The big fella, two out of four from that position. He's got 12 points, but he had 10 of his 12 real quick in this game. Second personal foul on Howard. Free throw up and good by Shaquille O'Neal. Lakers have 16 games remaining in the regular season, including tonight. 12 of them home games. The balance on the road, and one of those road games on Wednesday night against the Clippers right here in the same building. Both free throws good. The Lakers trail it by 13, just under three and a half minutes remaining. I wonder if the Lakers will wait till the uh, about four minutes to go in the fourth quarter to show that sense of urgency. Kobe's got to be careful running through and around all those screens, guarding McGrady, hit him on the arm. And it's going to be two free throws coming to Tracy McGrady. Two plus one. That's three free throws. Yep. Tracy yep. again well That's behind right. the three-point line. And Kobe trying to challenge the shot. And so Tracy goes up for it. And referee says you're hitting right on the arm, which he definitely did. And free throws will be attempted. So everybody can take a nap. Three free throws. Takes a long time. Tracy McGrady out of my Mount Zion Christian Academy now in his seventh season only 24 years of age. You know the Magic going to pace to score about 70 in this half 70. They've got 59 with 320 to play. That is embarrassing to the Laker defense. McGrady makes two out of three free throws so far in the game in 18 minutes. He's got 21 points. Juan Howard has 14. Only one Laker in double figures. And that's Shaq with 14. Most important number, the Lakers' deficit, is 59-44. Peyton looking inside to Shaq, being leaned on by Rook. Stepped through the lane. Finger roll was below the rim because he was fouled hard. Sean Rooks said, hey, I, I didn't touch him. Apparently, he did. You can complain all you want, Sean, but you ought to know by now. You've been in the league long enough to know the officials don't care what you say. So Shaq will go back to the line where he is four of six. Some special programming coming up regarding the Lakers. Jerry Buss built an empire and turned the Lakers into the most, one of the most popular teams in all of pro sports. His children overcame their wild past to become his top executives. Now the question of who will take over the bus legacy remains in doubt. Beyond the glory takes you inside the hidden world of sports' biggest stars. It's March 28th, 8 p.m., right here on Fox Sports Net. One free throw good, the other missed, and the Lakers trail at 59 to 45. Tracy McGrady being guarded by Kobe now, and Kobe's obviously a real good defender. But, uh, you know, he has that one shoulder that he has to try to protect, so it makes it kind of difficult. Kobe gets down the lane, an illegal screen. Are they going to call that on Brian Russell? No, they give that foul to Tracy McGrady fighting through the screen from Brian Russell. None of Tracy's teammates said a word to him, and that screen, he never did see it coming. And the Lakers down big on Fox Sports Net. Lakers out there with their starting unit. Lakers trailed it by seven after one. Orlando was shooting 64%. They've cooled off to 62 as Russell misses the first of two free throws. Lakers 50% uh, free throw shooting team. Nine out of 18. Obviously magnified again by the fact that they're down by double digits here being down by 13 with two and a half to play. Kobe biting up with McGrady. You know the screen is going to come. He's really worried about Kobe with that shoulder. Puts the ball out of McGrady's hands, but he gives it up to Stevenson. Not close. Shaq takes the rebound. Russell ahead of the pack. Clear sailing. Throws it down. Nice two-hand over-the-head pass from Shaquille O'Neal to a streaky Ryan Russell for the easy uh, play. And you notice Tracy McGrady just conceded that play. He said, hey, we're up double digits. I'm not going to pick up a silly five. Carl Malone, as he ran back down court, he started talking to his Laker teammates. And we got to start talking at the defensive end. Stevenson misses two in a row. Shaq with another rebound. So the Lakers with back-to-back -back stops. See if they can get back-to-back -back hoops. Peyton turns, pivots, lost the ball. He wanted to shoot that one. Kobe with it, looking inside to Shaquille. Guarded by Rook, spins in the lane, head fake. Difficult shot off the back of the iron. Howard easily takes the rebound. They're getting back-to-back -back hoops. Now they're going to need back-to-back -back stops again. Something they haven't been able to do. 
McGrady steps back. Kobe really harassing Tracy McGrady. And you know Tracy likes the challenge. Difficult shot again, but the Lakers will clean up their board. Deshaun Stevenson with the slam dunk, a little showboating, pretty close to a technical foul. Nice job of uh, going to the glass, though, by Stevenson, uh, following the flight of the ball and making the move. Good cut by Brian Russell. Got Stevenson on his hip, drew the contact, and he'll get back to the line. You, know, you get Tracy McGrady to take a tough shot as Kobe's up there. Good challenge of the shot but look at Stevenson nobody puts a body on him because they turned their head on the shot and without getting contact with the man they're guarding first so that gives uh, Deshaun Stevenson clear path to the rim Zaza Pachulia comes in a rookie out of uh, Georgia well not near Atlanta that is uh, Georgia in Eastern Europe the Georgian Republic 20 year old rookie Drew Gooden comes back on, uh, replacing Sean Rooks. And a quick reminder, coming up at halftime, we'll send you to the Southern California Sports Report studio for the Jack in the Box halftime report. Free throws both good by Brian Russell. 107 remaining in the opening period. The Lakers trail, excuse me, the opening half, the Lakers trail at 61 to 50. Boy, that was a good job by Kobe getting through that first screen. But here comes another one. McGrady's double team Malone came over to help and forces Orlando to take a timeout. <laughs> Carl really upset at the official over there, but they had him trapped on the sideline. Maybe a little defensive pressure is in order when you're down by 11 on Fox Sports Net. There was some thoughts to, as you well know, bringing Grant Hill for the remaining nine or ten games of the regular season to test that surgically repaired ankle. Four different surgeries Grant Hill has undergone, but they decided against it. McGrady being double teamed inside the good two on the shot clock turn. Throws up a terrible shot, 24 seconds. Shot clock violation. Lakers seemingly have found something in double teaming McGrady. Well, they seemingly has picked up their defensive intensity as they really doing a good job. Gary and uh, Kobe especially getting to the double team and then Shaq just standing there forcing a 24 second violation. But Julia now guarding Shaquille. Dangerous pass. Malone saves it. Pull up jump shot by Russell. No. Malone tips it back. Lakers maybe will hold for the final shot. Shot clock down to 19. Game clock about five ticks behind. Unless they get another offensive rebound. I don't think they can get the last shot, but they're going to try to get as close to it as possible. Kobe looking for someone on the perimeter. Russell once again misses a three-pointer. Good block out by Pachulia. Shaq's got it. Still seven seconds remaining. Kobe steps back. Oh, and now Shaq's got the offensive rebound. Misses that. And the first half counts if it goes, it'll come up short. And that last possession sort of epitomizes some of the Laker frustrations, although that was at their offensive end. They have been terrible at the defensive end. Well, they had an opportunity there to get a little bit of mo going into the locker room, but came up short again. Shaq led the Lakers with 15. Tracy McGrady had 21 first half points, along with some help. And with a score at the half, Orlando 61 and the Lakers 50. Let's now send you to the Jack in the Box halftime report. For the Lakers who come back out on the floor with their starting unit of Rick Fox who made a couple of shots early along with Kobe Bryant, Gary Payton in the backcourt, Carl Malone and Shaquille O'Neal. Fox starts on McGrady once again and as I recall once Kobe was put on to McGrady he shot those three free throws made two and had one basket pull up jumper off the back of the iron Peyton with a long rebound away from Howard now obviously this first score is going to be important the team that scores first the Lakers have an opportunity after the miss by McGrady cut by Kobe Deshaun Stevenson stays in front of him Kobe back to the basket the help coming from Howard Malone cuts through the lane Kobe backs down inside and he's got his first basket of the night on his fifth shot Boy, that's a beautiful left-hand shot he's got and I mean the confidence factor with him in that left now is out of the, out of the arena Tyron Lou out there again with McGrady who missed his first shot of the second half Deshaun Stevenson who played very well with the clerk and Juwan Howard the clerk with it not a real threat from about outside of 14 feet Stevenson as he showed you that in the first half rattles that in and out so Orlando comes out they missed their first two shots 
Peyton, little pull-up floater, and the Lakers score back-to-back -back hoops, and just like that, the 11-point deficit at the half, Stu, which I yeah. agree with you, not that big a deal, is down to seven. Not that big a deal at all. Uh, it's all about what they do uh, defensively here in the second half as Kobe continues to uh, work on that shoulder. Kobe probably got nudged a little bit. Get used to it. There is no way he's anywhere near 100%. Pull-up jump shot, and it's three misses in a row and three stops in a row for the Lakers, who also get the defensive board. The score here forces the Magic to take a timeout. Carl Malone attacks the basket, but a holding foul. Shaq was trying to break free, and he was being tackled by <laughs> Andrew DeClerc, who took the hey. worst of it as he came over to match up with Mailman. <laughs> Whistle sounds, and Carl goes on and runs right over Andrew DeClerc and uh, Kobe reaching for that shoulder trying to play uh, going good defense and working on Andrew DeClerc and gets his arm tied up there and looks at the official and says don't let him hold my arm like that that's really what helps to hurt his shoulder Kobe working right to left he shoots another one left-handed that leads me to believe Stu that his arms really bothering him we're gonna have to keep a very close eye on that I know the left-handed banker from off that block is a very good shot for him, but I thought he would have ordinarily shot that right-handed. Tyron Lou answers at the other end, throws one in over Shaquille. Ty Lou with the running hook shot over the seven-footer. That was nice. Last couple of years in Washington before coming to Orlando as a free agent, and now Gary Payton getting into the left-handed. Outside to Rick Fox, sets his feet for three. That's no good. Payton with the offensive rebound. A little more bounce in the Lakers' step right now. Let's see if they can do something with it. Oh, what a nice pass by Shaquille looking for Carl Malone. Shaq could have taken that shot but had a better opportunity for right. his teammate. Double team came to the big fella. Howard was there, and Andrew DeClerc came over, over to help, and Shaq a little drop pass, and DeClerc reaching in picks up the foul. So he's going to have to go to the bench as uh, Sean Rooks has already checked in. That's five fouls on Andrew DeClerc. But he hasn't been anybody that's been hurting the Lakers, so they can afford to keep him out there with the uh, four fouls. And now with five, he should be sitting with the coach for some time. The clerk played only 16 minutes so far. Sean Rooks, make no mistake, missed his only shot in the first half as Carl Malone misses the first of two free throws. But Sean Rooks can make a jump shot if they put him in pick and pop. The Lakers shooting 55% from the free throw line. The mailman looking to see if he can get at least one of two after missing the first Lakers trail at 63 54 just underway here in the second half thanks so very much for joining us the Lakers return home nine straight games here at Staples Center Malone successful on the second of two free throws he now has half a dozen Rick Fox face guarding Tracy McGrady but they run everything for him and through him he comes to get the ball back to Tyron Lue, wide open for an 18-footer. And that's all that Tracy has to do because the Lakers are double-teaming him so much if he finds the open man. Nice pass by Kobe. Got all the way to the rim and fed the ball off to Shaquille. He's done that quite a bit in this game, especially in the first half when uh, he was looking to get everybody involved. <laughs> Tyron Lue comes around the corner. There's the pick and pop. Sean Rooks for the 19-footer. Well, the scouting report is only one, one sentence in it for Sean Rooks, and that is jump shot. Face-up jump shot. 67-57, the Lakers trail. What about that last play, Stu? Kobe got almost all the way to the rim. I know it was a beautiful pass to Shaq, but you think if that shoulder was feeling better, he would have finished it? Yeah, I do. I definitely think uh, had he had his health with him and feeling a little better, he probably would have finished it, but he shovels it off with his left hand and uh, protects the shoulder by getting contact on the left side of the body, and Shaquille finishes off the play. So even with the sore shoulder, you, know, you can see how Kobe makes things easier for everybody. Shaq now with 17 points to go along with 10 rebounds. Kobe pull up, jump shot, short. Shaq tips that. It comes to Deshaun Stevenson. Stevenson again acquired at the trading deadline, middle of February, for Gordon Giracek. Both teams seems to have come out well in that trade. Giracek played very well for Utah of late. And <laughs> <laughs> uh, Juwan Harris said, screen for me, Sean, and then what are, you're not pick and roll. You're supposed to pick and pop. Lob inside to Shaquille. Rooks tries to take the foul and does so smartly. That was a good, smart foul. That'll send to Shaquille to the line to shoot a pair. 
Well, good look up to court by Gary Payton. The Magic very, very negligent in getting back after the turnover. Uh, basically just walking down the floor, and that allowed Shaquille to beat everybody except Sean Rooks down, but Sean took the foul. So far, Shaq having a good night at the free throw line, and that continues. He's now 6 of 9 from the line, 18 points, 10 rebounds for Shaquille Stu. Well, the Magic now out of fouls, team fouls. <laughs> He's got 18 to play in the third quarter, and there's a lane violation, so Shaq will get another free throw attempt. You wipe that one off the books as if it didn't occur. Give him another one, see if he can knock down a pair. That foul trouble you just mentioned, this time going in the column of Orlando, almost a complete reversal yeah. from the situation the Lakers were in in the second period. Shaq misses that one off the back of the iron. Rebound taken by Sean Rooks. The Lakers trailed it. If you're just joining us, 34-27 after one. Trailed 61-50 to at half. Stevenson with it. He's got 10 so far in the game. Comes to Juwan Howard. Howard on the dribble. Got the ball stuck on his hip. Goes down in the lane. Oh, nice play by Gary Payton. Payton on the steal. The Lakers with numbers. Pass back to Kobe. A look at a three-pointer. Came up well short. Payton with it. Comes back to Rick Fox all kinds of time. Disdained the three-pointer and then threw a dangerous pass. Carl Malone down inside. Kobe tries to finish. Came up short. Tries to finish again right at the rim. By the last two shots from the perimeter, Kobe's showing that shoulder that I'm going to keep giving it a try. And then he finally gets it a little layup to go home for him. And the Lakers now trail by seven. And this crowd just gets you to get into it. Well, it's all about the defensive end. It's all about the defensive end with respect to the Lakers' championship hopes. McGrady three-pointer comes right back to him, gets his own offensive rebound and knocks it down. Well, when you're guarding a shooter, you have to be able to uh, box him out after he shoots. Dangerous pass inside is intercepted. Here comes Stevenson, looking for somewhere to go. Ball deflected, so Stevenson stays on the dribble legally. John Howard throws it down, coming down the middle. And just like that, the lead goes back to 12. The Lakers make a little spurt, and the Magic answer. Kobe working against Stevenson. Nice pass to Shaquille, but it's deflected away. Here comes Howard working on the dribble. Howard goes all the way down the lane. Ball deflected away because he was fouled by the Lakers. Well, there'll be two shots coming to uh, Juwan Howard as Kobe picks up the foul, uh, according to the official. That wow. last basket, just drive and dish. Juwan Howard all by himself. There's been a lot of Orlando Magic players all by themselves in this ball game thus far. If the Lakers don't tighten the defensive screws on a consistent basis, they're going to lose this game. So Howard will go to the free throw line already with 16 points. That's over his season average. An 80 percenter so far on the year. The Magic came in at 19 and 49, just 9 and 25 on the road, Stu. Yeah, well, they're trying to change that, and so far the Lakers aren't doing anything to make it impossible on Fox Sports Net. The Magic come into this game, loses a five out of their last seven, including Saturday, their most recent game, up at Seattle, 115-101. Howard knocks down the free throw, and as you said, Stu, the Lakers' deficit is once again at 14 points as we approach the 6:20 mark of the third period. Working on Bogans, Tyron Lou had to go to the sideline. Peyton should have shot that ball, although Orlando's out of fouls. It'll be two free throws in any case because he passed it off out to Rick Fox. Well, I mentioned that the Lakers made a run to close it within uh, single digits and then 7 nothing run by the Magic. And they're right back up to a 14-point lead as Gary Payton at the line so he can make a free throw, which the Lakers haven't been able to do on a consistent basis. And Gary misses a free throw, so... 54% from the uh, charity strike by the Lakers. Won't get you any victories. Peyton is successful on the second of those two free throws. McGrady coming out of the backcourt being hounded by Rick Fox. Here comes a screen from Sean Rooks. Made McGrady away from it and finds Jawan Howard all alone in the lane. Brady's just picking the Lakers apart right now. They got to put Kobe back on him, don't they, Stu? Picking him apart. But they're running so much pick and roll with uh, him that the uh, the screen guy is still going to have to help. You know how the Lakers are with pick and roll. 
Jack's got it down inside. Unfortunately, I do. Peyton way off the mark with that three-pointer. McGrady takes the rebound. And that's his hand. It almost looked like he was trying to bank it. And uh, Rick Fox picks up a foul, running into the screen by Sean Rook. So it'll be ball out of bounds for the Magic as they lead it by 15. The biggest lead of the game is 15. I know Tracy McGrady is setting the table for everybody else, but Jawan Howard now is chipped in with 20. And he scored the Orlando Magic's last six points. Howard with it, guarded by Malone. The lob pass inside, hit the front of the rim. The Lakers trying to take advantage. Call that a turnover. There was, some, there was real pep in their step earlier in this quarter. It seems to have uh, gone away now. Kobe wants to work on Stevenson. Double team is coming. Here comes McGrady. Kobe looking, turns, faces, fall away, jump shot. And that was very close to the uh, five-second rule there with Kobe back and in. If you have the ball in, in dribbling, which you're back to the basket, you only have five seconds to make something happen. He made something happen at the very end. Very similar to the game down in Orlando where the Lakers trailed by as many as 18. Stevenson frees himself. Good crossover dribble. Stevenson now in the game with a dozen. Peyton thought about it, finds Rick Fox looking at a three inside to Shaquille. Rick's trying to hold him off. Shaq will turn around, jump hook well short, and here comes Orlando. Quickly kicked ahead to Bogans. Bogans had a layup and just dropped the ball out of bounds, and it found Kobe. Otherwise, it would have been the Lakers' ball. Well, he looked up. He, he had the layup, but he looked up and, and looking right into the face of Kobe, and that's when he lost the handle on the basketball, and Kobe couldn't pick it up. Went off his leg. McGrady will pull the trigger. Got to watch him coming back to post up. He wants to go down into the post against Fox, who's pushing him out as far as he can. The side is clear. McGrady turns and shoots and makes. He's having one of those nights. I mean, he's not a shooter. He is a scorer. I mean, what's he shoot on the season uh, average-wise? Probably, what, 42%? Exactly. Yeah, so 42%. He's not, a, he's not a shooter. He's a scorer. But when scores get going like this, Robert. Kobe down the lane, heard the whistle. He'll get a couple of free throws out of that. Kobe trying to be a little more aggressive offensively. Well, 17-point lead. That's the biggest lead of the game by the Magic. It's Kobe taking Stevenson off to dribble, getting into the painted area, and gets contact from Juwan Howard. He'll go to the line and shoot two. Orlando's been out of fouls for seemingly minutes already. There's 4.06 remaining. Devin George coming on, replacing Rick Fox and Devin George will take his turn on Tracy McGrady. McGrady's fourth season in Orlando, all NBA first team the last couple of seasons. Just a fantastic, fantastic player. One free throw good, the next missed by Kobe. Kobe at the line so far tonight, and for him he's struggling, just two of four. The Lakers are 16 out of 29 from the free throw line. Stevenson comes around the screen. There's Rooks, pick and pop. Malone comes out. Sean Rooks again. The crowd are really starting to let the Lakers know how they feel about this as they are raining down the Booba. Jack down the lane. He's fouled by McGrady. Tried to get out of the way, but could not before the contact was made on Shaquille. He'll get back to the free throw line. McGrady picks up just his second personal foul. A smart foul. I mean, a smart play by Tracy McGrady because uh, if he stands in there, he's probably on the injured list. Uh, pick and pop with Sean Rooks. Go ahead and shoot it, Sean. That's what you've been doing all through your career. And doing it quite successfully. You're a good perimeter shooter as Shaq knocks down the first of two, and the Lakers down by a whopping. 17. Jack had those 10 rebounds at the head. But the problem is the uh, Magic haven't this many right. shots. And not many rebounds to be <laughs> had. The yeah. Magic, who shot over 60% in the first half, have cooled off considerably. Now they're shooting 57.9. Johnny Davis looking on, took over for Doc Rivers on November 17th, was part of the Portland Trail Blazers 1977 NBA championship important for the Lakers to somehow I don't care how they do it to get some uh, intensity going defensively and finish this last part of the quarter three and a half minutes to go so they can get back into it in the fourth I mean if they go into the fourth quarter down by 16 17 points they'll be in trouble
Stevenson splits the double team, comes in on Shaq, that's rejected, goes to Howard, follow away jump shot, no, Peyton after it, he's got it. You tell how the crowd's just oh, dying yeah. to get into it. I mean, they're standing ovation for a defensive stop. Devin George, the handoff from Malone, and he throws up an air ball. Shaq goes to get it. Still time on the shot clock. Shaq turns inside. He's being held by Jawan Howard. Nice work by Shaquille to track down that errant shot as Shaq will be shooting two from the line. He's eight out of 12 from that distance. And we'll find out what he does on Fox Sports Net. All right, thank you, Billy. The shield. Uh, maybe you can bring some toughness to the Lakers at the defensive end as Shaq misses the first of two free throws. 2.56 remaining in the third. The Lakers trailing the Orlando Magic 82 to 66 and you talked about it Stu the beginning of the game Lakers returning home the schedule getting favorable the Lakers were the third best home record in the entire NBA behind only Sacramento and Dallas and at least through two plus quarters they have laid an egg a lot of times when you've been on the road a lot as they're trying to attend to some blood on Juan Howard a lot of times when you're on the road and you come home and you got a long homestand you take that sigh of relief about being home and uh, that that sense of uh, coming out and playing with a lot of urgency may vacate you for a while. And, uh, I mean, although this Laker team hasn't seemed to play with a lot of urgency throughout the season, but they've just got to pick it up. I mean, you can just see their, the, the body language. Uh, they don't have that 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 strut about them. Jack misses both free throws, so the Lakers have 245 remaining in the third. They'll try to get it down to single digits if they can. Juwan Howard sets a screen. Howard gets the ball back from McGrady, goes down inside, and an offensive rebound is taken by Keith Bogan. McGrady left free for a three. Missed that, and Bogan takes the offensive rebound. Are you kidding? Out to McGrady again. Can't give him another look. Uh, that's, that, that just sums up this entire game. Ball is free for the rebound. Uh, no Laker goes for it. They get it back and knock down a three. Kobe looking for somebody to pass to. Devin's got it inside to Malone. Good ball movement by the Lakers. Stutter step. Gary Payton all alone down inside. This is the layup tip by Shaq. Grab by Shaq. Put back in by Shaquille. Exactly two minutes to go here in the third quarter. And the, uh, it's almost like the Orlando Magic are <laughs> putting their wheel on the Lakers as opposed to the Lakers imposing their wheel on Orlando. Malone jumps out back to Howard. Shaq rotates over nicely. Howard goes baseline. And this time Shaq returns the favor. You don't see that very often. Shaq grabbing an offensive player. He did this time. Juwan Howard knocked to the floor, helped up by Shaq, and two free throws coming. Well, he wasn't in the act of shooting. Yeah, he was not in the act of shooting. And he may have uh -huh. had it in his mind, but Shaq threw him to the ground so quickly that the officials are ruling that he wasn't in the act of shooting. So it'll just be ball out of bounds with 14 on the 24. First foul in the last two minutes for the Lakers, so they're now out of fouls, just like Orlando has been for eight and a half minutes of this third period. The Lakers have not been able to take advantage. McGrady goes baseline, pull up a flat one, and buries another one. This a two-pointer by Tracy McGrady. He's got 29. Make it 31. Yeah, make it. <laughs> the computer can't keep up. Malone rolls down the lane, misses the layup, and it'll be two free throws coming to the Lakers. Well, the Magic know that as long as Tracy can stay heated like this, they can afford to trade hoops. Uh, it's the Lakers' uh, defense, I mean, Tracy's just toying now, just dribbling and shooting and scoring. That's all he's doing, just flat out knocking it down. He's been on a roll the last two games, obviously, scoring 62 and 40. And he's on his way to, obviously, another 40-plus game here tonight. The Lakers uh, miss another free throw. They are now 18 of 34 from the free throw line as Jaja Pachulia comes back on, replacing Sean Rooks, who certainly did his part. Hit a couple of jump shots from long range. Malone, second free throw up and good. 120 remaining. The Lakers trail it by 18, 87, 69. And haven't showed any kind of an answer uh, for the Orlando Magic offense so far. And that offense has been picked for Tracy McGrady. And then let him set the table for others. McGrady, nice pass inside to Drew Gooden. That shot erased by Malone. Ball's thrown on the floor. The Lakers don't go after it. McGrady had a brand new shot clock and jacked that one up. He's two, Juwan Howard. 
McGrady having some trouble getting it in. Howard ran into Malone, went to the floor. Lou comes around the screen from the clerk. The clerk rolls down the lane. Five on the shot clock. Lou working on Malone. Malone knows the clock, and he commits a foul. It's going to be two free throws coming to Tyron Lou. Two free throws with the shot clock just about gone. Lou at the free throw line for the first time tonight and makes that. Don't miss the Lakers' first annual Palms Casino Royale in Santa Monica on April 8th. Join Laker players and staff for a night of games, food, and entertainment. All proceeds benefit the Lakers Youth Foundation. Go to Lakers.com for details as Gary Payton comes back on for Derek Fisher. Payton so far on the night, nine points, seven assists. Both free throws, goodbye, Lou, and the Lakers trail it again now by nine. Yeah, that's a big uh, a big couple of free throws. A little spurt here by the Magic. Now the Lakers are forced again to come down and get some production. Payton turns on Lou. Payton just down inside, kicks it out to Malone. Malone head fake, puts up a difficult shot, not close. Shaq there, he missed the layup, thought he was fouled on the play. 19th rebound for Shaq, nothing to show for. Wow, point blank on that one. Lou turns on the Jets, pounding it right side, missed that Shaq after the rebound. He's got 20 boards. Well, he's got his 20-20 game, but the Lakers are on the bottom end of the score, so also not if they don't get a victory. Shaq sets the screen. Kobe with the first three-point basket of the night for the Lakers. That was on time. That was on time. It's back to a six-point game with five and a half to play. Kobe's got 24. Howard left all alone. The Lakers don't talk defensively. Well, that's been the story of the game. Not talking defensively. Juwan Howard now with 23. McGrady leading all scores with 35. Kobe just did a three-pointer. Back him down on Stevenson. Turn. Pull up jump shot. No. Ball did not hit the rim. Kareem Rush. Pull up jumper. No. Shaq Barrett comes over Malone to Tyron Lue. Every miss for the Lakers is crucial, not so with the Magic, because they've obviously got the eight-point lead. Both teams out of fouls. McGrady, stutter step, attacks the basket, gets inside, throws it up, and Andrew DeTurk comes to take the offensive rebound, and the Lakers trail it by ten. That's the basket that wow. might hurt them the most right there. Force the miss and not get the defensive rebound. They now trail by 10 with four and a half to play on Fox Sports Net. Denzel Washington in his usual courtside seat. Uh, David Hasselhoff also here, along with uh, Jack Nicholson. And I, uh, yeah, Jack doesn't look very happy, and he's with good reason. That uh, victory by the Suns ended Houston's five game winning streak. 425 remaining in this one. Kobe matched up with McGrady, swings through down the lane. Runs over Andrew DeClerc, and the foul is called on the outside against Tracy McGrady. So it'll be two more free throws coming to Kobe. Well, DeClerc had established his position, but the problem was Tracy reached in on the drive, and the official rules that the foul on Tracy obviously came before. Kobe ran into no Andrew DeClerc. Mm -hmm. Kobe will go back to the free throw line, shoots two. Lakers down 10. They've got to be pretty close to perfect the rest of the way. Kobe 7 of 9 so far on the night from the line. Make it 8 out of 10. You can see uh, Tracy McGrady swiping down against Kobe Bryant. Got him on the elbow. That's why you like to swing up as much as possible. You get away with a little bit more when you do that. You know, Shaq's got uh, 20 rebounds in this game to tie the mark he had against the San Antonio Spurs earlier for a season high in that department. Eight and with 419 left to play, he better get more than 20. Oh, Derek Fisher with an air steal. It's 100 to 92. Still a lot of time remaining. McGrady looking for it. Kobe's going to try to keep it out of his hands. Now he's got it above the three-point line. Four on the shot clock. McGrady's going to have to take a very difficult shot. Gets down. Oh, he threw it in. That was some play. That I thought was, he was fouled as well, that, Stu. He was. That was some play. So the Lakers trail it again by 10. And give it to Kobe. They trail by 7. I tell you, that young man is amazing. 28 points in the second half. 
Kobe trying to face guard McGrady again, setting up shot right around the top of the key. They'll run time off the clock and then get it to McGrady with six or seven seconds. McGrady goes back door. Here comes Howard. Runs over Derek Fisher. Offensive foul. Well, there's D. Fish doing what he does. And that's set up in the area as Juwan Howard says, I can get past. Oops, where am I going? I'm trying to stop my brakes. I need to go to the brake shop, get my pads worked on. Offensive foul, turnover. Lakers have another opportunity to tighten it up. Five fouls now on Howard. Kobe with it. What a matchup they have had. Kobe, one dribble. He'll get it back with Brady right up on it. Ten on the shot clock. Kobe creates some space, goes baseline, and he's fouled by McGrady. That's five fouls. The basket will not count. So loud at Staples Center before the sellout crowd could not hear the whistle. Both teams out of fouls. It'll be two more free throws coming to Kobe Bryant. Well, when you have your dribble left and you face up, defensively, boy, you're in trouble with a guy that can handle. And Kobe can handle. Reach in by Tracy. No question about the uh, the contact and the foul as Kobe back to the charity strike where he knocks down his 30th point of the game. 29 of those coming here in the second half. And Tracy McGrady now with five fouls and 306. They've got to take him off of Kobe. <laughs> Why they have him on Kobe? I, I don't know. And they should have Deshaun Stevenson Absolutely. on Kobe since Deshaun is a better defender. Good play by Shaq. Got the offensive rebound. Shaq being double team. Here comes Kobe. Frees himself up. On the baseline, he's got another. I mean, he's getting freed up now as easy as can be. And it's a four-point game with 250 to play. McGrady comes around the screen. Malone. Oh, he threw the ball away. Peyton's got the steal. The Lakers can cut it to two or possibly even one. Outside to Peyton. Deshaun Stevenson, exactly as you said, Stu comes over to pick up Kobe. Shaq rolls down the lane. Shaq comes to set another screen. Kobe goes baseline. He can't make another one! I'll tell you something right now. If there's any question in anybody's mind who the best player in the league is, call me. Call me. Call me Colette if you want to. I'll give you the answer. 2.21 to go, and Kobe Bryant is taking him on his back. And he's got him in the hunt on Fox Sports Net. He has put 22 points on the board in this quarter alone. He's got 33 in the half, and he's done it in a variety of ways. Dunks, jumpers off the dribble, facing up, spinning on you, jumpers along the baseline. It hasn't mattered at all as he has really catapulted this Lakers team into a position to win a game that, quite frankly, a lot of us thought was not going to happen because of the lethargic play overall, especially defensively, tonight. But now they're in a position to win it. Let's see if they can continue. No points in the first, then one in the second, and after that, lights out. He's got 34 total. What a performance, but it'll be all for naught if the Lakers can't close the game. Kobe needs some help. Pick into the corner to Tyron Lue. Pull up, jump shot. No. Fisher takes the rebound. Boy, that was a very quick shot by Lou. Well, see, the Smacky team, they're thinking about their record and everything comes into your mind when you're in this situation. And now if Kobe can or there's somebody else on the Lakers possibly can do something else, you'll really see this crowd go crazy. Four on the shot clock. Kobe back and down. Turn again off the side of the iron. Kobe had scored the Lakers' last 13 points. Now they need another stop. It's 102-100. McGrady has really been bothered by Kobe's defense. McGrady now has him one-on-one. -on -one. Turns inside. Back to the baseline. Good move. Passes inside to DeClerc. Blocked by Shaq. Ball's on the floor. The Lakers have got it. Another stop. Got to get a conversion here. Kobe's carried him, but they can't look to go to him every time down. Somebody else is going to have to do something. That off the back of the iron, Gary Payton will look at a wide open three. And that's what happens when you're not in the flow offensively. Finally, you get a shot. There's no rhythm to your shot because you haven't been doing anything. Juwan Howard, open 18-footer, well short. 
Payton hustles after the rebound, knocked loose by DeClerc. It'll be the Lakers' ball. You're absolutely right, Stu. Kobe carried the Lakers, willed the Lakers back into this game, but now they got to win it as a team. Well, this might be their last opportunity here. Less than a minute, still trailing by two. You've got to score here. Kobe biding his time, turns on the Jets, comes down. Oh, he laid it up and in. Tied at 102. You talk about opening the defensive gates. What in the world are the Orlando Magic thinking? He's got the hottest hand in the country right now, and they're walking away from him. Make him pass it once in a while. They take the timeout. 41.5 seconds to play, and we are tied at 102. Thank you, number eight, on Fox Sports Net. One and a half seconds to play. Let's see what they can do about closing the deal. He's also held Tracy McGrady to just five, Stu, so it's put at both ends of the floor. McGrady's got it about 29 feet out. The clear comes to set a screen. This is a two-pointer. Pull up, jump shot, no. Rebound, battle four. The mailman goes down, and Peyton's got it. Well, they can't get the last shot. There's about a four-second differential. So they need to get a score here to take away the prayer from the Magic. Malone's going to come out and set his screen. Does so. There's the stutter step. Kobe looks to turn on the jet. Malone hit fake down the lane to the basket. It's deflected away. Wow. One second on the shot clock. Malone wanted a foul. Did it not look like he got hit on the arm as he was taking it up? Did it not look like he got hit on that play? The officials must be ruling that his hand was on the ball. He drives. He gets hit right there! Oh, oh my, my goodness, is that a foul? I guess not on Fox Sports Net. Wow, one second left on the shot clock. You know they're going to try to throw the ball up to Shaquille. And uh, the clerk is pushing him right now. So all three officials know where the ball is going. Looking to come to Kobe. Fall away, jump shot. On the way to short. And a timeout is taken by Orlando. 1.5 seconds remaining. Well, I'm surprised. I really thought they would try to throw yep. it up to Shaquille and just let him go up. They would have probably fouled him uh, on the play. But that's history. We've got 1.5 left in a tied ball game on Fox Sports Net. Fox is back on. Tyron Lue out there. He'll break free as well. Gary Payton will guard Deshaun Stevenson, who will inbound. McGrady comes to get it. Turns. Can't get a shot off. Oh, he threw it in. No, no, oh, no. It was late. No question it was, it was late. late. It was definitely late. They'll review it only by rule, but they signaled uh, the official was waving it off as he had it in, just as it left his hand. So they'll review it. And if they say that this one counts, 19,000 here are going to be very upset. They are holding on to Tracy as he's coming <laughs> out of the, the pack and catches it, and he's looking and looking, and actually that thing might have gotten off out of his hands in time. That's, that was close. I don't know. The, the applause you hear have disallowed the basket. Oh, it's still on, and ball is touching his fingers. The ball cannot be touching any part of your hand when the light and the zeros are there. And it definitely was touching his hands as zeros were showing on the clock. But that's exactly why I said make somebody other than Tracy McGrady be that guy because he has a way of doing just that. We're going to have five more minutes of play, aren't we? We're going to OT. Overtime. Tied at 102 on Fox Sports Net. The Lakers are 2-0 so far this year in overtime, having defeated both San Antonio and Cleveland, where the Orlando Magic have played an extra five minutes on five occasions, winning three and losing two. Malone out there with a dangerous pass. Deshaun Stevenson, as you might imagine, guarding Toby, but nobody can guard him, raise it up and in. That's the first lead for the Lakers since 1999. 
thought it was connected yet. <laughs> McGrady steps through the lane. Nice pass to Jawan Howard. Lays it up and in and looks to complete the three-point play. Nice pass. Nice pass. If he didn't walk, but that was a nice pass. Kobe got the Lakers on the board first in the extra session, just going right around Stevenson and laying it in. And and then with uh, Tracy McGrady with the pass, Juan Howard answers with a three-point opportunity to see if he can put the magic up by one. Juan Howard having an exceptional game. He can't complete the three-point play. 27 points, well, eight rebounds. What the Lakers got to do, though, is run some kind of play where they can get Tracy McGrady to have to switch on to Kobe. Tracy's got five fouls. He can't do anything. Well, maybe he can after what he did to the mailman. Kobe comes around the corner, kicks it outside to Fisher. Fisher looks at Malone. The Lakers out of sync offensively. Two on the shot clock. Fisher all the way and made it. Wow. I'm glad he knew the clock. And I mean, know the clock. He did the job. And that gives Kobe a couple of seconds to rest. Here comes McGrady. Kicks it out to Juwan Howard, who knocks down another one. The team's trade baskets still tied now at 106. Hmm. Hmm. The Lakers looking to run their offense a little bit more. Shaq hasn't touched it. He comes over to set a screen. Peyton gets down the lane. Peyton into the corner to Fisher. Fisher working on Lou. Oh, nice pass to Shaquille. The court went for the steal, and it was a suicide try. He just about got that one, though. Good job by the big fella of using that hit to get rid of him. Shaq's got 27, 108-106. Malone jumps out to Howard again. He's made a couple. Goes baseline, kicks it out to Lou. The former Laker comes up short. Battle for the rebound, and that's going to be a loose ball foul on Shaquille O'Neal. The big fella, Shaquille O'Neal, picks up his fourth foul, trying to get that rebound away from Andrew DeClerc. So it'll be ball out of bounds, a fresh 24 for the Orlando Magic. They trail by two. Shaq, 27 points, 21 rebounds. Fresh shot clock for the Magic. Same play. McGrady comes around the corner. Stutter step. The ball is loose. It's going to be a foul on Derek Fisher. Do they? Oh, Kobe. they gave that to Kobe. I don't understand that one. What? I'm not here to understand it. I'm here to report on my guess. As Kobe trying to defend it, Tracy comes off the screen. Carl steps out. Kobe's there. Oh, well, you talk about phantom foul. That's Kobe's fifth personal foul. That's a huge call to Howard once again. McGrady with it. Pump fake away from Kobe. On the way, no good. Rebound taken by Stevenson, and a loose ball foul is going to be called against the Lakers. Well, that'll be free throw time. Well, both Tracy and Kobe now with four fouls apiece. I mean, excuse me, five fouls apiece. Uh, which one of the stars is going to get to the bench or the early shower first as Sean Stevenson shooting two with the Lakers up by that same amount? Stevenson been quiet so far in the second half. Just his fifth point. His total now is 15. The Lakers would not be in this situation without Kobe Bryant's 24 fourth quarter points. Ties a franchise record held by Elgin Baylor and Will Chamberlain for most points in a quarter. That's some pretty nice company. Both free throws good. Tied once again at 108. Watch out, Carl. Inside to Shaq. Shaq head to shoulder fake outside the middle. 18 what you gotta have. Kobe did the job of getting you back, but you gotta get your offense going to take some of the pressure off the defense with the uh, magic on Kobe. Kobe guarding McGrady. McGrady guarding Kobe. Both with five personal fouls. Passed out to Howard. Comes down the lane. Deshaun Stevenson down inside. Lays it up and in and tied again. Lakers aren't responding after they get Jordan Tracy to pick up his dribble. They're not responding and getting back to people quick enough. 150 remaining in overtime. Kobe on the dribble outside to Payton. Deep corner for Gary Payton. Nice job again. Kobe set it up. A little bit of dribble off the move and spots him up. Knocks down the triple.
double, the Lakers lead it by three. So Brady pull up, tries to answer off the back of him. Oh, shot high for the rebound. The score here puts the Magic in a bad way. But you need the score here. 113, 110 in overtime. Inside the Malone, another fall away jumper. That one came up well short. And it's Jawan Howard for the rebound. Tracy McGrady has 37. Kobe's got 38. 37 of Kobe's 38 coming after halftime. Now, this is where they got to get Kobe help when they clear that side like that. Shaq comes over, pass outside the loop. Looking at a three-pointer, no. DeClerc got away with a no, put. He no, didn't. he didn't. <laughs> you, can't, hey, you can't push the biggest man on the planet and hope to get away with it more than once. So the stop gives the ball to the Lakers. We're less than a minute to play in OT. Andrew DeClerc, is, he's get the quick uh, soap dish as he's going to the shower. It's Kobe Bryant. Dishes off to Gary Payton for the long three. And that's where the Lakers stand right now, leading by three. They get another chance now to put some icing on it. They need a score here, make it a three-possession game if they don't, of course, give up three-point baskets or three-point plays. Hey, Stu, you know, remember we gave that list a moment ago, Kobe with a 24, tying Elgin Baylor and Wilt Chamberlain, pretty good list. We yeah. just added another name. Jerry West. <laughs> Let me tell you, that is real company. Kobe, the left-handed jumper, no. That was a quick shot, the rebound taken by Lou. 113, 110, 40 seconds left in overtime. Wow. <laughs> Woo, if you remember now, Orlando once had a 19-point lead in regulation. We're in overtime with the Lakers leading by three. With less than a minute to Magic ball, 18 on the 24, 39.8 on the game. If the Lakers can get one this last stop, they can seal the deal. So they'll put the Magic probably in a foul position, and then you'd only need one one of the two free throws. Kobe again playing with five fouls. Out to Tyron Lue, attacks the basket, Shaq comes up. Oh, Lue dropped the ball out of bounds. Now that's the kind of stop that they didn't anticipate. Ty Lue just flat lost the handle. Did it so fast that the Lakers can't get the last shot. So they have to score here again to secure the deal. Kobe looking at the clock, saying, OK, everybody, just wait. Shaq will come out and set the screen. 10 on the shot clock. Kobe around it. Peyton, head fake, frees himself. Pull up, jumper. Off the iron. The ball's tipped loose. Tyron Lue's got it. 10 seconds remaining. And this is the hardest place to guard a three-pointer in transition. Orlando needs a three. Into the corner of Rooks. Three seconds remaining. Two seconds remaining. Stevenson, the three on the way. And the Lakers win it in overtime. Yeah, the crowd is happy. Obviously, the Lakers are happy to have the win. But now that it's over, work to be done. But they did what they needed to do here to get the victory as the last defensive possession they really tighten the screws on Tracy. First fish steps out. The big fella Shaquille comes over. Malone puts pressure on Sean Rooks, and he throws a high fly pass that Stevenson could do nothing with as time expired. In overtime and in the second half, Kobe Bryant, 37 points to lead the Lakers to an overtime victory over the Orlando.